you know what time it is. I think you know what time it is, because I know what time it is. Well, it's bright and early here. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I love you so much. Thank you for being subscribed. Thank you for showing me positivity. Thank you for giving me my flowers while I can smell them. I love you guys so much. I hope all of you are doing great. I hope all of you are mentally stable right now. I hope you're looking at all the positive things in life. The cup is always half full. It's never half empty. You live with that conscience. You live with that state of mind. You will enjoy all the fruits of your labor. I'm back. We're back. We got a bunch of updates to give you. Today, we're picking up the S2000. We are going to begin the S2000 giveaway. At the end of this playlist, we are going to be dropping it off to one of you. Isn't that crazy? Like starting from day one? I know a lot of energy. The coffee was amazing. I know it. Right? Um, mind boggling. Basically, the end video of this playlist, we will see who the winner is and we will bring it to his front door or her front door. And that's where we're starting. Let me give you a couple of updates. Let me roll in the intro and then we'll go from there. But if you're excited that we're building an S2000 giveaway, please, it only takes a click of that thumbs up. It only takes a few seconds to write a positive comment. Give me some emojis. Give me some kind of positivity down there, pause. I love you guys. Let's start gunning. All right. All right now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. All right. All right, guys. Yep, all right. All right, guys. All right, all right, so. Okay, boys. You got something to say, Forty? Yeah. Hi. Okay. Manolo, you looking bueno, papi. All right, let me give you guys a couple of updates here. Manolo, last outing, oil was heating up. A little bit too much for my liking because the oil pressure dropped. So what was the problem? This was a faulty sensor. So ultimately, I ended up changing this to an AEM 150 PSI sensor, okay? So let me open up this guy real quick, give you guys a few, uh, a few looks at what I've been doing, um, you know, behind the scenes. Pause. I don't know if that's a pause, but maybe. Maybe it's a pause. Oh my God, it almost tripped over my own. Hold on, bear with me. I'm doing this with one hand. Bear with me, it's coming, pause. Okay, so give you a, a quick uh, gestalt of what's going on here. Ended up buying this uh, tensioner off of uh, Honda Parts now, it's an EP3 one. Now I have a seven rip belt working. If you're curious on what belt works, this is, this is great information. K-Tuned 7PK1320. So seven rip belt, I used to have a six and it would shift and move around. I used to be really, really scared that it would pop off during a run and I'd be done for the day, right? So now I have spares. Big shout out to Sean from K-Tuned. Ended up swapping that tensioner over. Um, sensors been changed. Oil pans been changed. It's very hard to see right now. So I ended up putting back the big boy unit to fabrication 13 window oil pan baffle whatever right um oil temps are definitely down ended up moving the sensor from that set trab sandwich plate down to the oil pan i have to get this car in a lift um also big shout out to saruti ended up servicing both axles boots were shot we had grease everywhere terrible i thought brake fluid was my most hated thing about cars it's definitely axle grease unbelievably unbelievably uncomfortable hate to do it hate to do it okay home development brake caliper brake 
guides, whatever you want to call them. Let's see what they call them on the box. Okay, air guide kit. So I picked up this set here. And basically, it's going to go on the lower control arm. I'm going to install that because once the S2000 gets here, it's basically going to live on the lift. Now, with that out of the way, let me show you what came in. Oh, baby. Huge shout out to Skunk 2. Let me give you your flowers, Skunk. When I was 16 years old, I was buying your products. When I was 16 years old, I was going to full throttle and I spent over 10 grand on everything Skunk 2 for my white EG hatch. Thank you so much for believing in me. Thank you so much for the discount on some of these parts. Thank you so much for the free gifted parts. And most importantly, Skunk 2, thank you so much for giving me a coupon code for my followers. That means, that means more than all of this right here. Thank you so much. What do we got? VTech Solenoid. That's beautiful. We're going to open all this up. We've got our oil cap. We've got our shift knob, the famous Skunk 2 shift knob. We've got uh, the magnetic drain plugs. Thank God they sent those. I want to order a couple of these and run magnetic drain plugs on all my cars. Very, very smart to do. Very inexpensive. Radiator uh, cap. Ultra manifold. Yes, sir. We've got our header here. Um, coilovers. Coilovers. You guys know how I feel about those Pro STs. I've tried to put them on every car possible. These things dried like a dream. Pause. I got some stuff here uh, to gift some of you guys in your orders. Um, I think this is, yes, I got more stuff to gift. I got some lanyards, some koozies, some stickers. I got an extra radiator hose kit. I'm probably going to gift this to one of you also. They sent me two. I've got my test pipe here. And then obviously we have our exhaust. So I also have, I did some research. So when lowering an S2000, you need to space out the axles in the rear. So I ordered these from Tri-State, I'd say maybe like five months ago. Huge shout out to them. Uh, I ordered a new belt uh, for the S2000. I've got a bunch more parts up there suspension wise, but ultimately we need the car. So I wanted to share with you what Skunk 2 sent. And, um, yeah, what do you guys think? Go show Skunk some love on Instagram. I don't know. Go leave a positive comment. Uh, make it sound like it's coming from us just so they can feel appreciated for giving me a coupon code. I will share that coupon code in the description so you guys can save money. Again, Sharing my sponsorships. I've done it with Skunk. I've done it with Koenig. I've done it with uh, Action Clutch, with Tri-State. Anybody I've worked with, we figure out a way how to save you money too. So let me get this guy on the lift and uh, let me start figuring out how these uh, brake air guides work. So right now, I've got the air guide kit all put together. I'm basically going on Home Development's website, and he has a, a link to a YouTube video to where he shows this being, um, you know, basically put together. So let me try to figure out this one with him on the video, and then uh, maybe I can help you guys, maybe I can help explain the second one. So just give me a few minutes. Okay, so I think me and Seb installed these, right? These, uh... Air ducats, a little bit confusing. Instructions were decent. I know we owe you guys some kind of explanation, but this is what we got. So use this bracket. You send the two tens down. Leave the threaded side all the way on uh, towards like the caliper. And then we got that. So here's some video reference because I know some of you guys are going to buy these. And this is might help you. But to tear it down again, not going to happen, folks. <laughs> so, uh, Seb, do me a favor. Close that door. The lighting is terrible. It's dark. So what I was trying to do was avoid... 
What I was trying to do was avoid running a hose um, from the front bumper to the caliper. I'm trying to avoid that at all cost. So I ended up picking up these air guides here. What's going on? These air guides here from Home Development. So basically, as, as I'm racing the car, whatever cool air goes under is going to force feed into this area here. Can you guys give me a suggestion if I should remove this brake caliper dust shield? I'm thinking without the dust shield, I might be able to get a little bit more colder air onto the rotor. So give me that suggestion if you can. Both sides are on. Looks, a lot of you guys look sweet. Oh, remember on that update I was telling you about? So I ended up putting the sensor here. I de-pinned the old one. It was on that set trab sandwich plate. Ended up putting that in there and running nine quarts of oil now. So hopefully axles are fresh. Everything's nice and clean under here. Uh, hopefully that solves our cooling issue by running basically an extra four quarts of oil, um, more baffling windows, and obviously a different temp reading which is coming from the oil pan. But I think these are, uh, I've heard nothing but great things about these air guides. They weren't that expensive. I think they're somewhere like around 110 bucks. If I don't have to run a stupid hose and try to figure out how to get all that going, I think that's an easy enough solution. So it basically just sandwiches from the lower control arm on the top of it to the bottom of it, and that's it. Seb, what do you think? It's time to go? Time to get the S2? You do nothing. You do nothing, you easy! All right, boys and girls, we are making our way to uh, go pick up the S2000. It got stored at Seb's house for a couple of months, and big shout out to our boy Gus. Ended up lending us a transport plate, so we're literally going to do the right thing and then just uh, pick up this machine and then drive it to the garage, bring him his plate back, but should have a nice cruise, a nice ride. Beautiful weather today. A little bit cool, but sunny, right, Subby? It's kicking yeah, ass. Okay. So we should be at Seb's house in roughly about 30 minutes. And then we see the S2000 again. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We got our transporter plate on. Let this car warm up a little bit. And boy, is it filthy. This car needs some real love, man. I'm gonna end up paint correcting the entire car. We're gonna restore this thing to its glory, right? But um, for the meantime, we're just gonna worry about getting it home for now and figuring out um, how to attack this. So maybe we'll talk about Maybe we'll talk about that part when we get to the garage. So I'm thinking start from the bottom up, pause, and then go from there. So hopefully we have uh, some safe travels on the ride home. I'll grab the camera and take it with me inside and uh, we'll get this puppy to Yonkers. Oh no, check engine light. Wonder what that's about. Oh, man, I miss this car so much, man. I miss this car so much. It is so clean. I can't wait to detail all that red there. But hell yeah. So, um, yeah, let's take this trip home. Everything's working beautiful. I'm excited, right? I'm excited. Hell yeah! Oh my god, you can tell this car is rusty right now. You can hear like all, you can hear the brakes, you could hear all the, uh, all the stuff that hasn't been used in a while. This car has been parked for like six, I don't even know, six, seven months, Gunners. You could, you could remind me when we even got this thing, but holy smokes. This car needs to be driven. Bad. Still drives great though, but you can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear the brakes a little bit. Probably not that easy, but just chilling in sixth. This thing. Uh, I miss driving this thing so much. What a dream, man. 
This car drives so well. I can't believe how good the suspension came on this car stock, man. I got to put this thing through some squiggly mileage, you know what I mean? Some squiggly turns. And this thing, it just drives like a dream, man. It just, six gear is short. It just like, look, it wants to go. Going a little bit uphill here. It just wants to go, you know? But what a beautiful car, man. I think the first thing we should do, guys, when we get to the garage, is give this thing, give this machine a wash. All right, guys, so off the highway, um, Again, car solid, definitely needs brakes. I feel some warping. I don't know if it's because the car has been sitting for a long time, some stuff has rusted up, but definitely needs brakes. Because as I hit, as I apply the brake, the pedal starts to kick back a little bit, and that's usually uh, an indication of warping. So we definitely got to order some pads and um, rotors for this thing, but so far so good. Car drove here great. We're about like three blocks away from the garage. So thinking when we get there, settle in real quick, um, take that plate off, maybe run it back to Gus real quick because he might need it, and then um, wash this thing. Uh, I'd like to just get it on like a nice clean canvas, and then we'll figure out um, maybe take Manolo off the lift today, put the side skirts back on, and then sit this puppy on the lift. So be at the garage shortly. Get some soap on this thing. Get some soap on this thing. A little foam soap in there. This stuff is great. This Rainex stuff. I picked this up from like uh, Amazon. It's like nine bucks. Things lasted a while too. Doesn't need you don't need much of it, but um yeah, get this canvas clean, get all this dust off this machine, and then uh we'll get big boy out of there, get this guy on the lift, and then come up with the game plan on how we're going to build this car. But these rotors, Sebi, I think are shot. Yeah, those are no good. So I'll order some rotors. I'll order some pads. Maybe we can send the calipers to get powder coated. I mean, it still broke pretty good, Seb, but it definitely had a lot of warping. Yeah. But those rotors are shot. So four rotors got to get ordered. Pads all the way around. Um, might go for like a mild pad too. I don't want nothing too aggressive for whoever wins the car. You know, you don't want to be driving around with the uh, GT3 RS brake squeak, you know? <laughs> So, yeah, let's, let's wash this baby up. What's up, brother? Yo, How you doing? Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, man. All washed, boys and girls. All washed. That's it. I like to start with the clean canvas, man. I think these cars come out much better that way. So, yeah, swap these two cars real quick. Street cleaning's coming, get to clean the sidewalk, and go from there. But ultimately, uh, take a peek under the hood, make sure everything is solid, 
But we got to get this guy off of the lift. Man, I'm loving those brake ducts, Seb. It came out great. His lighting is terrible right now. I apologize. But I guess you get the gist. So we're going to play a little, uh, what is that called? Musical chairs. things on this car and I want to emphasize on something real quick first of all I got I lucked out it's got an amazing radiator it's a Koyo um, gonna end up changing the intake manifold we're gonna take the throttle body use a skunk 2 one they're gonna send me um, a 70 mil or a 74 I forget I'm gonna take this intake off because from my understanding the best intake for an AP1, AP2 is the factory intake. Some people do some kind of modifications with the factory airbox or they swap out a different filter. I'll do some more research on that. I have the factory air filter and airbox. Also, I have the factory grill because I'm changing this ugly, you know, chicken, chicken coop nest, chicken coop wire, whatever it's called, so. I don't even know, but again, this is a great platform, super clean car. I've again so many goodies for it. I've got the VTEC solenoid. I bought this belt brand new too. I'm gonna swap out that header. Check the motor mounts. Whatever needs to be done to this car so that the winner of it doesn't have to go through any kind of headaches. I'm going to take care of. I'm also indecisive on if I should tune the car. Uh, I hear that the AEM V2 is perfect, plug and play. I hear the K-Pro is more affordable, but I think you have to change the uh, crank trigger wheel. And I'm not really trying to open up a 71,000 mile motor. Um, we're going to go from there, guys. This is a, a totally new experience for me. I've never even changed a... Uh, oil on an S2000. So this is the first time I'm ever going to work on one. I hope, I mean, it looks fairly simple. It's a Honda. We're going to figure it out, but I believe we're going to start from the bottom of the car. So we'll cut this clip short. We'll go up and then maybe we'll come up with the game plan together. Uh, bottom of the car, awesome shape, never bottomed out. Nothing's really rusted up. So I think tomorrow, I'm going to start with the bottom. So I'll probably most likely start with the exhaust system. Maybe work my way from about back here. I see this braces here. That's going to give me a hard time to get rid of it. So I'll start basically with this brace. Removed uh, the oxygen sensors. Remove the exhaust and then move on to suspension. Um, hmm. I know K Tune that bought a couple of things off them. I know I got some rear cambers and stuff. I gotta check upstairs what I got. But yeah, the teardown is gonna start tomorrow. I'm gonna double check these motor mounts. They look like they're in great shape so far. From what I see from here, nothing's leaking, nothing's break, nothing's broken, cracked. Uh, again, the car drives solid besides those brake calipers. I don't know if you showed them in the light, maybe, Seb. Those uh, rotors are shot. Check out this side things are done. Look at that. Those things are finished. So definitely got something. That's the biggest Honda center cap I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. So start from there. I don't know how I feel about this air splitter here. I might like it a little bit more when the car's lowered or maybe when the stock grill is on, but it, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. But I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. So, again, we got a bunch of cool parts here that we're going to install in the car. So, guys, basically, you're going to keep up with me. 
uh, throughout this entire build. And how it usually works is we announce a giveaway date, we announce the amount of time for a giveaway, and from there, you buy a giveaway bag. It's the fairest giveaway you're ever going to join in your life. It's live when we do the drawing. It's tickets. It's not no random.org BS. And we show all the tickets before and after. So if you're interested, if you're intrigued, and wherever this car lands in the world, it will be delivered to your front door. If it's in the United States, I will personally deliver it. You can check some of my past videos on giveaway cars that I've delivered, giveaway cars that I've built. But welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to this exciting giveaway with the Silver Surfer. 71,000 AP1 S2000 that is about to get completely revamped. It's literally OEM besides that cold air intake. And um, with the collaboration of Skunk 2, we're just putting the whole catalog onto this car. So stay tuned, uh, keep yourself posted, and I'll every step of the way with this machine, I'll keep you guys informed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be vlogging again. I'm glad to be editing, kind of. But, um, yeah, I love you guys, man. Hit me a like. Hit me a positive comment. Keep going.